Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to see how to work with images in Microsoft Word and how to get text to wrap around them or not. This can be a little bit maddening when you're first getting started, but it's actually pretty easy. So let's say that I want to insert an image right here in the document in between these paragraphs. Now something that can be really helpful is to turn on your paragraph markers up here on your Home tab, just so you can see what's going on. So I just inserted a new line there, and let's say this is where we want the image to appear. So I'll say Insert on the tab, Pictures from this device. Here on my hard drive, I've downloaded an image from Pexels, which is a free site where you can get images. And I'll say Insert. Or what you can also do is just drag the image over. So if I hadn't inserted it that way, I can just drag the image directly into the Word document. So either way works. But once you've inserted it, let's just resize it. So I'll click on that and then drag the handles here. But you'll see by default that the text doesn't wrap around it. We've got this huge space over here. So there are a couple different ways you can work with this. Let me just click onto the image. And when you do that, up here on the top, you'll get this Format Picture tab on the ribbon. And there are two buttons that you can work with. There's one for Position and one for Wrap Text. Now they seem similar, and you can actually kind of use either one depending what you're trying to do, but let's just take a look. So Position Object, this is where the object will appear in relation to the page. So if we just click on this, you'll get kind of a preview of what's going on. So in line with text, that's where it is now. That's just where we dropped the picture. But let's say we want it to be on the top left of the document, and if you just hover over it, That'll give you a preview. So it's moved it to the top of the document. Let me just zoom out a little bit here so we can see things a little bit better. Then I'll go back to that. So the top left of the document would put it right up there. You'll see the text automatically wraps around it as well. So with text wrapping, that's what we've got. Maybe you want it in the middle of the page. So just hover over there. We'll get the preview or the lower right of the page. And there you go. So that will automatically give you the text wrapping and change the position of the picture on the page overall. Now I'll just click off of that. I didn't actually apply any of those. I was just hovering over to get that preview. So this is where we started. Now wrap text you can get to up here, or you might have also noticed here, if you just click on this layout options, that basically gives you the same thing. So right now the picture is in line with text meaning that the text is not wrapping, but then you've got the wrapping options down here. So we can wrap the text square, tight. Some of these are a little bit hard to see the difference. Let me just click on this one right here. So here we've only got the text on the top and the bottom, so it's not wrapped around the right or left-hand side. Here we can actually put the picture in front of the text or the opposite we can put the picture behind the text. So several different options that you can play with here. This was back where we started. And then if you go to see more, this will open up a dialog where you can get to a lot more detail and control here. So this is for the position, which is this button that we started with. And then text wrapping basically is for this other button, but gives you more control and just a different way that you can interact with things here. So I would say kind of play with these, see what they do between the position and the text wrapping. Chances are you can get something to look exactly like you need. So that's how to get started with text wrapping on images in Microsoft Word. I hope that was helpful. If so, let me know below in the comments and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks so much for watching.